Contact Denver 7 is getting results tonight for an Aurora mother who was paying her son's cell phone bill for a year mm -hmm. after he died. Our consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen is getting her an apology from T-Mobile and her money back. Okay. The anniversary. There we go of her son's unexpected death. His name was Jeremy. Brought raw emotions back to the surface for Christine Ruprecht. It's hard enough to lose a loved one, but then to run into brick walls everywhere you go makes it even ever so much more difficult. The brick walls were at this Aurora T-Mobile store. I felt so sad when I went in initially to drop Jeremy's line and it was like nobody cared. She says one year ago, an employee here told her she'd have to pay out the contract in full or keep paying every month until November 2023, okay. more than a year and a half. It just reminds me every month that my son is in here and I'm paying for a phone that we don't have. So before the anniversary of his death, she reached out to contact Denver 7. We found even though T-Mobile has a clear policy for deceased family members, it's not that simple. The carrier's own message boards show others complaining of the same issue. In an email to contact Denver 7, T-Mobile thanked us for letting them know about Christine and apologized for the difficulties she has endured. Immediately I got a call from T-Mobile. T-Mobile gave her a full refund of $300 for the past year and took her son's line off her plan. She says offering the closure she's been looking for. He was a stained glass artist. As she honors her son's memory, this week. Thank you, T-Mobile, for <laughs> finally coming through and doing the right thing. For contact number seven. Other companies, just be be compassionate when someone passes. I'm it's, Jacqueline Allen. It's hard enough. It's hard enough. Yeah, just makes sense, doesn't it? So if there's something you want Jacqueline and the contact Denver 17 to look into, you can call the number there on your screen or you can email us anytime. Contact seven at denver7.com.